Morning, folks. Uh, today, oh, get that out of the way. I am going to ah. Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to change this. Duh. You won't be able to see anything. Right. Um, I don't know if uh, this will work because my computer's going. I can't move. But I'm going to try and show you how to use the puppet tool. So, if you can see, I've gone up over top sort of left to a little kind of um, pin tool and I'm going to point little parts of this character and I'm just positioning little bits of his ears legs and I'm going to try and move him in a three dimensional uh, well I was talking about sorry I was just being asked by my wife if I bought a willy warmer <sighs> yes I did for my dad actually not for me I, t I told her I was doing this does she listen to a word I say no she doesn't anyway um Let's just make this bigger so you can kind of see it. Uh, yeah, so you can see I've, I've pointed uh, little positions on his little body, but I'm just looking at the expansion. I think I'll bring that down because I want the legs to be separate. So hang on, it's not minus six, that's ridiculous. That'll be inside the body there. Select tool, let's see what that's like. Now I'm a novice at this but it's uh, changed the way I animate completely uh, yeah, I think that's okay no I don't think it is actually let's do it 2.5 see I'm not an expert let's see if that can you do that? no it will only allow me to do 83 um, Right, so what you can do, let's just have a few more triangles. See if this works. I did animate this, um, honestly, <laughs> for a, uh, an advert in Romania. And it didn't take me too long. It might take me longer. I'm just looking at that. Right, hang on a sec. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, assign... press that uh, overlap tool there if I press that then I can make this part of his leg in front oh, of that part of his leg no that's not working this is a disaster alright let's put that extend let's see what that does let's just bring that down a bit running very slowly to do this. Right, let's see if that'll do anything. No, I do not like doing the tool. So yeah. <laughs> oh god. Let me extend a bit more than it was. Right. Yeah, that's alright. And then so what I'm doing is I'm telling computer what's in front so that leg at the back and that leg at the front is in front of the other leg that's next to it right now let's try and move it so I'll move the timeline on a bit what are we doing here yeah yeah I want him to sort of run that twice every second so I'll go down to the uh, deform bit and you'll see that I've got all these puppet pin things that I'm soaking up and that shows you where on the timeline you are so at zero seconds you can see they're all marked and I'm going to go up to half a second and I, I'm going to just put it so they're in exactly the same position so what we can do is we can get a cycle going you don't have to do that 
to sort of animate and doing this thing so it's kind of random but now I'm going to move uh, oh I take it off yeah I've got what have I got to do it I've got to take it off the uh, puppet overlap tool and put it back on the puppet pin tool and if I move look this leg here and this leg here that one goes behind that one This leg's going to go back, and this leg's going to come forwards, and his tail is going to go up, like that. Let's have a look at his face. What's he done? Let's have a look at the move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, yeah, what I want to do is I want to move the head down, I think. So head's coming down and so's the ear and I think what I'll do also actually is give this e ear some sort of movement as well I could give you another puppet pin do puppet pin 9 and I'll move that back to where it was there and then oh hang on a minute I think that's what forwards with this brush. So let's do that movement. Like that. And then he should sort of come back. To where he started. I didn't I didn't do it like that when I I think I just animated it. What I'll do is instead of trying to do a side pull just animate it raw because I think it'd be more fun. So I've done that initial movement like that. So he's sort of going down and then he's going to sort of push off. So let's have a look here. So I've got my legs mixed up. So that one's come down, this one's going up. I think it's going to crash horribly. <sighs> oh dear. Well, what I'll do is I'll show you the actual animation I did using this puppet tool. So he's now sort of he's pushing off, and this leg's coming back. That leg's going like that. Let's just pull out a little bit. Tail's coming up. Did it, did it, did it, did it. And then this leg has come down. This leg will come up. This leg will come down. Oh, crap, this gap's come down. No, hang on, this one's going. See that in real time. Oh, there we do do. And I think yeah, the head sort of comes back. Nose comes up. Okay, yeah. This and this is just one still that I'm moving here. There's no. Um, like levels or anything, it's just one uh, bit of artwork that's been manipulated. And what I did was, so you can see the principle there, right? What I did was, I did the 
same sort of thing but with this character well I mean the same character and uh, animated in like this look at that <laughs> and then I, I stuck him in this um, just for a test I moved him along the space so look at that see that and that's just using one that's one anim uh, one cell you know one piece of artwork which I think is amazing changed the way I work completely so anyway that's it really uh, doubt if you're any the wiser <laughs> <laughs> that's me moving the squirrel bringing it to life I hope you kind of enjoyed that <laughs> I'll speak to you later bye